Modern Male Radio with Jared Zavistoski, right here on LA Talk Radio. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Jared Zavistoski, and you're listening and watching Modern Male Radio. This is all the stuff your mama should have told you and the stuff your daddy never knew. And joining me tonight, we've got special guest Blake Elliott. And back with us a second time is my unofficial official co-host, Sarah Chavin. I love Chavin. how he says second time. It's like the fifth time now. Yeah, but who's yeah. counting? I, I, guess, I guess second is synonymous for another with right. me. Okay. It's like, oh, it's a second okay. time. It's like another time. So, I yeah. Like the, okay. the way our mind phonetically, uh, you know, associates <laughs> words. Right. So, Blake, you're a songwriter. Um, and a um, singer. And a singer. And an artist. Yes, sir. Cool. And any acting? Actressing? You know, I, I would act and I, I can act, but um, singing and music is definitely my number one. That's your love? Love of my life. I can relate. I can relate. Yes, so. yes fellow I musician know, here. There you go. I, I say slash, 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 but well, definitely. Well, right, yeah. Well, singer, songwriter. You. As you. So good. I know. And apparently, you're in music too. I'm Bravo. really impressed by that. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm good. fucking I'm amazing. And this is how you get women. Oh, yeah, no, Obviously. definitely. Serenade, no, that's actually yeah. how you that repel women. These? I mean, hey. Call it a night. Yeah. Roses. Doing something that you're horrible <laughs> at. Disney song. Yes, we get those right out of the way. Uh, Flora's Oath, once again, has supplied us with flowers, fresh flowers for our guests. Um, you can find them at floresoath.com or uh, on any social media at Flora's Oath. They always take care of our guests. This is awesome. They do my job These for me. These are gorgeous. Oh. You, you, you can't imagine what it's like to have a radio show. It's like, hey, pretty girls, come on here. Talk to me. And then I'm like, oh, and by the way, people paid me to, to give you flowers. I think, <laughs> I'm actually, I think I'm actually only here for Flora's Oath at this point because I love much, having yeah. flowers every week Absolutely. now. I feel like yeah, I'm don't on, lie, like, the Don't bachelor. lie. You like, <laughs> 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 love <laughs> hanging out with me. Stuck like glue, like uh, Elmer's glue. Yo, okay, it's good for you, man. It's natural. You can put it in your hair so and you can eat you. that. Here it so goes. Good. So good. You can eat <laughs> that. You can eat that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be talking about something that, you know, normally I try and set the broadcast very, uh, very worldwide, very, you know, but today we're going to, we're going to dial it right down into dating in LA. Get in it. Uh oh. Get dun, in dun, it. Dun, dun. And it was actually your idea. Uh, so I'll give you credit there because you're like, oh my God, we're going to talk about the, the shit show that is LA. It's one of my like, favorite yeah, topics, great. so I'm definitely ready for this. There's so much to say about it. Yeah. Okay, well then I'll, let, I'll just, I'll hand the candle over to you guys. Let's go. <laughs> hey. What's one of the most common mistakes that you find in, in men in LA? Oh my God. Jeez. Just one? Yeah, I mean, I mean, seriously, there, I could write a whole entire book on common okay. mistakes. Okay, we'll that. just give you one now. <laughs> <laughs> You know. Think fast. And hey, he would owe you. He'd have to read it too because you read his. Exactly. So it would, you know, you might as well. Definitely lines. Lines are always bad. You know, especially the guys that like Google lines. Like, what are the best lines to just drop on a chick at a bar? That doesn't work ever. People still do that. It usually People starts with "Hey that. you" and then just goes straight downhill from there. Yeah. Hey you. Cause yeah. Because no, you so don't creepy. know me, so let's yeah. start there because that's not creepy. Right. Totally. Yeah. And the other, um, the most recent one that I just can't stand that still even happens to this day is um, vaporizers are in, and mm -hmm. I smoke a vaporizer. And the yo, what you vaping? Oh my gosh. Like, are, did you really, really, bro? Really, bro? I'm vaping a little of this and this. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Straight up, I'm vaping a bunch of uh, peace the fuck out. Thanks. Have a good day. You know what I mean? Yeah. I so I, I think, it, and it's funny because like, it, it, like looking at those, the the immediate tailor, the way that you would tailor those two things, isn't isn't something you would immediately grasp like right off the bat, and it, it's it's so subtle that you're almost like, wait, is is that really the difference? But like, hey, you, is is so much different than changing the tone and flex in your voice and just saying, hey. But if you say, hey, then it's a little different than right. saying, you know, like, or hey, you, or da 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 da, um, you know, or walking up and being like, hey, so, uh, or, or like, you know, yo, just, bitch, how you doing? There's just make animal to. noises because <laughs> yeah, that's much better, actually. I would actually be more intrigued by that, to be totally honest. I'd be like, oh, this guy's kind of like original, you know. What I mean? Then you should move to my neighborhood because that is very prevalent. <laughs> what, you, you get lots of animal noises? <laughs> it's, yes, it's unavoidable. Lots you walk outside, and if you don't hear a cow mooing at you or a. a where the fuck do you live? I'm right. Like, Valley Village. Oh. <laughs> on blast right now. You know, you make it's that Studio <laughs> City, for those of you who don't know. Adjacent. And, and how <laughs> you make it sound like Montana or something. Two like. blocks this way or two blocks this way, good, bad. It really there is. We were yeah, but I don't know about how many people coming off the train are gonna make cow noises at you. <laughs> yeah, I mean <laughs> Who said they were coming off a train? They're driving in their cars or walking down the streets. I mean it's I get, I get that. Moves. And maybe that's on me. Maybe I need to check myself because maybe I don't, you know. Maybe you're hearing things. That yeah. it could, could be too. Could be too. My ears might not be so good anymore. Or it just could be, you know, the slow creep of uh, middle aged insanity. <laughs> <laughs> middle age insanity. Pre-midlife crisis hearing problems. I don't Knock know about middle age. I mean, I've been insane my whole life, so there's no, you know. What I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I feel you guys on that one. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, besides the vaping things, like, there's, uh, there's so much more that, I mean, 
just in LA in general, like kind of like the attitude of like, yeah, you're, you're lucky to have this. Right. I got I'm this. So cool. Like or, super entitled guy. Like, yeah. yeah, you're lucky I'm even talking to you, giving you the time of day. And you're like, bro, no. Exactly. No, just no, just take a step back, take a breath. Think like, hey, you, it. come over here and let me be entitled in your presence. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Yeah, men, so. they, they just, um, I don't know. I think it's a nervous thing, and I think they think that they know what they're supposed to do. I don't really know what it Definitely is. Definitely insecurity. For sure. And but then the overcompensation, and you're just like, they can't, once it starts, you it can't stop. stop it. Yeah, it, it just keeps going. worse. It's like a snowball. It's, it really it's is. incredibly intimidating, though, to walk up to a girl and just, and, and to actually understand the confidence well enough to where you can kind of get in the pocket and be comfortable there. Right. And I mean, I've learned to overcompensate in different ways where, like, if I get really nervous, instead of going, like, becoming more dominant and more masculine and building up or pretending to be cool or, like, nothing, like, I'm impenetrable. I just, I'm like, I'm honest about everything. I'm like, I'm actually like really nervous. Like you kind of make me nervous right now, you know? Right, exactly. <laughs> but you're like, wait, were you being serious? Like yeah. she's kind of make you nervous. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean that's. It's I'm all that bad. purple hair. It's all the fucking purple I hair. I love your hair. No, honestly though, that's, that's really the way it is. I personally think it's like more fun. If you're nervous, just get over yourself and just like approach a chick. Honestly, like mm-hmm. when I was in like the whole dating scene and stuff, like, and I saw a guy and I'm like, he's hot. I would literally like go up and be like, yeah, what the fuck is up? And that was like my like, hey, what's up line? Like, yo, what the fuck yeah. is that? And they'd and be that's like, cute. what? It's not really cute. It's it just is. Like it's adorable. Like awkward and like just like vulgar, but just it's like cute. whatever. Like, you know? No, that's cute. That'd work on me. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. You know, the stuff that wouldn't work on me <laughs> is when girls try to like, they try and be like seductive and they just come off like weird and they give you those stares. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, they're yeah, trying to give you the look. Right? You're like, I don't know if you want to kill me or have sex with yeah, me. Yeah, right but now. they're doing yeah. the look like way too bad. Yeah. Where they're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like, like something's wrong with them. Like twitching, <laughs> twitching starts to happen in the eye and stuff. Yeah, they're like, hey, it's just not cute. You. Or yeah. they're like, they'll think that you didn't get get it the first time because like <laughs> yeah. no, guys are obtuse, so they keep going with it totally. and they keep doing stuff. And they're like, "What's up? How are you?" Like, I caught it. Like, I caught it. I got it. And I threw it back. Yeah. yeah. Just so we're clear. No yeah, means that no. Didn't work. I picked up what you put down. Threw it back. Yeah. No means no. Uh, <laughs> bad kitty. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So wait, what, what is up with this? I, I saw that on your profile. You hate cats? I do hate cats. What? I, I can't stand cats. I never could. I'm sorry. Like, I have Some people aren't cat people, you so. I, mean? I have a girlfriend that has this cat, and I, like, hate it. Its name's Richard. And I, like, <laughs> can't stand Richard. Like, I hate Richard. I, like, honestly, like, I would kick Richard if I could. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe that Richard is doesn't. Kind of a weird is it because Richard just kind of, with. like, doesn't know, like right? you either? Because cats kind of have that attitude. Yeah, I, I don't think they like me either, but I think that they know I hate them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's been like one or two cats I've ever known that actually have a personality. You know what I mean? I'm like, uh, all right, you're right. You can stay. Whatever. She hasn't cat? bonded with a cat yet. Yeah. And, and that's uh, really all that it is because yeah, I had an ex yeah. that hated cats and was like, I'm going to punt your cat. Like, I got a cat. <laughs> I'm just going to punt that cat. I'm like, you better not. And then that cat ended up bonding to him and, and then it together. was like game over. Yeah, game over. I've always just been a dog yeah. person. Mm, yeah, I can see that. Are you a cat? You love pussy. I love both. <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, I love wait, her. wait. <laughs> I love her right now. That was perf. I mean, hey. I like both, but I think that both animals actually, if you really want to learn the, the dynamic between males and females, cats and dogs. Women are cats, men are dogs. What and about then you, goats and chickens? You happen though? to be. Yeah, you, you've, know, right? yeah, yeah, I mean. It's kind of racist. You can see some of, those, some of those characteristics in there, but I think those are the reason that we domesticate those so, so readily and that we get along with those uh, animals. True, because we relate to them. Mm-hmm. So I think that when it comes right down to it, like most women are. are or like cats and kind of men are more like dogs. And of course you get the, the, the cross switch there where it's like you were telling me earlier that you actually identify more with men than you do with women. Absolutely. So for sure. do you like dogs? I love dogs. See, there we go. <laughs> I love dogs. I really do. I think that I was supposed to be born a man and something really traumatic happened and I just, be- I was, <clears throat> I'm a girl. That was just a shift. It was a shift, but inside, at the heart of hearts. That's how I feel. You I always I mean? explain it to people. I'm like, kind of like a gay guy trapped in a hot chick's body. Right? Hey, hey, there hey. You there go. are no chicks and with dicks, only dudes <laughs> with tits. <laughs> that's, that's the truth right there. But I definitely tattoo? relate more internally on the male side. I absolutely definitely. do, too. Yeah. I've that's always great. felt that way. I'm sitting here with two dudes in yeah, one with Yeah, pretty, pretty much. It's like last week's show. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh. much. <laughs> Sorry, that I would happen last week. Take a minute there. We had uh, a we transgender we show last week. Okay, so it was actually uh, okay. These were actually men who became women, or yeah. how do they look? Except that they some don't of them are hotter than me. Yeah. They're internally they're female, so I, I so I guess they're yeah, women. I get that. Yeah. I totally get that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I understand. Were they hot? 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, because I'm telling you, some of them, I look at them, I'm like, damn, bitch, you look better than I do. Like, yes. you know what I'm saying? I'm like, kind of well, jealous. Like, Gigi a... Gorgeous and like a couple of other yeah. ones. <laughs> you never yeah. know. Fair enough. What, yeah. would ha- what would you do straight up if you're like out to dinner and you, you know. We wouldn't you get that know. far. I, ha- I have. No, no. I ha- <laughs> so I have an incre- far, anyway. I have incredible, incredible attention to detail. And I, <laughs> okay. But like yet, Adam's apple detail or like what are we yeah, talking about here? I mean, yet I have, I have actually, there's been so many times that when it's like late and I'm at a club or whatever. And like, I mean, I don't know what it is, but like I've run into this so many times that I've gotten very, very good at identifying it. And I'm like. No, wait, that's that's not the chick. That's a dude. Uh-huh. Cuz you know, you'd be at a club and like when a girl hits on you, it's like Right. But then she's hot and you're like, what is it? Okay, did I just get lucky? Like I'm not going to fucking slap the universe in the face right now. Right. But then you you start to realize that well, no, it's not actually a, a woman. Um Has that ever happened to you? It sounds like you're yes. talking from personal experience. Yes, 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 this has happened to me. Uh wow. I mean, I I actually ended up fucking um like, I mean, I've ended up like dancing with people and I'm like, why does she keep dancing all weird? And I'm like, wait, <laughs> you know, or, or like, cause I, I just, I have a, a, a mindset of like adventure and goodness. And like, I don't sit there and like think about shit, especially when I'm drunk. Right. Like, of course not. so well, I'll yeah. end up at like, I remember fucking, I was, I was running out of WeHo for like the first time ever I was, I was in that neighborhood and I walked into Little a bar town. and I was like, I'm sitting there and I'm fucking drinking and drinking. I'm like, oh cool. There are girls here. And like, I didn't think anything of it. And I didn't realize like until I got in there and like, there's like a performance going on in the back. And I walked back there and I'm like sitting there looking and I realized I'm like, oh, that's a chick. And then I'm like, Not oh no, so that's much. a, that's a dude. And so then I'm like, like a that's gang a dude. of transgender dudes. Yeah. Just all on your tail. Like, yo, boo. I and then I felt a hand reach down my pants and I was like, no, for real. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. Much. I looked at it. I looked at her, him and I was like, is this a tranny bar? And she was like. <gasps> I, well, word. at the time, it, I, that's what I said then. Yes. You know, I didn't know any better. And she and he, and he she was like, you know, oh yeah, the, like she was like, well, it could be whatever you want it to be, sweetheart. And, da, 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 da. and I was like, wait, are you were you born a man? And she was like, well, it all feels the same in the end. And oh I was my like, gosh. Okay, okay, I'm okay. gonna go. Um, hey, to each his own. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've just I've had so many like weird experiences. Unless they where, say like, hey you and start kept making moo sounds at me, then no. Yeah, 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 and that, which that is very possible. But I mean, I, I think that stuff like that's what kind of shapes a person to being more open minded and, and and less conditional. Absolutely. No, but see, here's how I know, and and this is this is actually goes back to my studying and stuff. Uh, you know, I've always been very very innately and very specifically attracted to a very very specific kind of person. Really? If how many any, specifics did he just say? Yeah, there were really a few fucking specific. It's sci- yes. It got scientific. <laughs> that shit is super fucking Bill Nye on that. Specific. So, yeah. like, I can, e- even if the girl is so good at, at, like, looking like a girl, but it's really a dude, like, even you can't tell with the Adam's apple, like, if I get close enough to them, I can actually smell the pheromones, and I can be like, no, nope, that's not a woman. Like, So, like, you're a pheromone specialist. Not a pheromone specialist. Oh. I'm very sensitive to that, is oh. what I think. He like, has intense nasal cavities, apparently. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> look at the size of this Have thing. you seen my nose? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my nose? <laughs> Oh my god, we're going to go to hell for this. This is such a. Uh, I'm sweating Never. again. Never. It's okay. It's I a mean, little, it's a little heated. In I here. was going to hell before I came here, so it's it's okay. You know. That Fair was enough. Good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> way to grace us with your presence. Lead the way. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm driving the bus, right you guys. It's cool. Okay, cool. So back to LA. Uh, like, yes. I think people have a. You know, LA is one of the most predominant places to get stereotypes. Oh, absolutely. And I get this from everybody. Like every anybody and everybody. Oh, you're LA. and I'm like, what does that mean? It means you're a douchebag. It means yeah, but douchebags exist universally or right. throughout LA, the so LA wait douchebag. So LA archetype douchebag. Yes. So what is that? Because I actually defined this in my book. Um, <laughs> I like <laughs> pause. Hold up. Or like it's it's great. It's like when people say like what? Why do you consider yourself to be the modern male? I don't think that that's indicative of what the modern male is. And I'm like, you know, I fucking invented the modern male, right? Yeah, you're like, mm-hmm. fuck you, I'm the modern male. Yeah, but the modern know. male is the title of my book, my program, <laughs> yeah. everything. The modern Therefore, male. Therefore, in yeah. your face, bitch. But mm-hmm. seriously, I, well, everybody's gonna have their own type of modern male. You know, it's gonna be tailored to who each individual person is, case by case. It's not gonna be mm-hmm. the same thing for everybody, but it's the formula of what it is and the idea of it, and then to apply it to yourself and make it your own well it's kind of the definition of modern male right yeah. exactly so it's not like you can't have like There's your own like version of modern male no. it's just like modern male is forward thinking and and does what's correct in, in the situational circumstance to to obtain what what it is that they're after right yeah. otherwise it would you be know. called one size fits all man mm-hmm. and it, male and yeah. it's not so or, or we don't really approach. know male yeah. man <laughs> <laughs> hey man. you male <laughs> Very Every type of male. The yeah. one-dimensional man. <laughs> yeah. Man, man, man. Uh, yeah, no. So, I, I mean, 
it's funny because like I feel like there's just so much going on in LA and there's so many different kinds of douche that could be that it's exist a melting here. pot of douche. Yeah, yeah it's so douchery. People are like, they can't really put mm-hmm. their finger on what LA is, but I'm like, look, you just needed something to hate. You just need yeah. something yeah. to, to yeah. go out there and talk crap about it. It's like I there there's a lot of vanity in LA. There's a lot of things that LA people care about that uh, other people don't care about. Yeah, for sure. You and know. I think that also too, like for women, I, I know like let's just say like she, a girl likes a guy and he's not giving her as much attention as she wants or what. Ah, oh, he's a douchebag. You know, yep. so there's like so many different oh, yeah. like you know forms of douchebag. See, people don't even get to the point where they hit on me before they call me a douchebag. They're just like, <laughs> they just oh. look at you and go, mm, douche. Mm-hmm. Mm, fuck they can you, smell douche. his douchemones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. But see, I don't even like. I, I mean, honestly, I can't even fault them because I, I fucking. Because you feel you're you're a douche too, or what? No, no, no. Because oh, okay. when somebody that looks like me walks in the room, I'm like douche. Right. I don't even right. Get, right. <laughs> like, totally. I fuck that guy. Dude, I do it all the time. I do it with females sometimes too. I'm yeah. Like, is a douche. We have like yeah. this, this instant, <laughs> this instant hater in all of us. Even though we're like, right. oh my gosh, haters are horrible. Da-da-da. Yeah, fuck haters. Give, you know, give right. it a break. You're like, I don't judge people. You're judging them whether or not you're saying it. It's just a matter of what you do with your judgments Human and your hater, Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So I wonder where that comes from. I, mean. I don't know. But when it when it comes to dating, it is hard because like sometimes we do judge people just out the gate without even talking to them. I've personally mm-hmm. like met people where I'm like. Yeah, right. Would fucking never. I, then, I like, can tell you, you where it comes from, though. It's like a different ball game. It's like when you're little and you're learning about right and wrong, you're also learning about right. good people, bad people, you know, that kind of thing. And then you just sort of take it, grow up with it. And then, yeah, we can't really shake it until we really get to know people. Yep. So. I, I think a lot of it has to could be innate, uh, you know, like, I mean, think about it. If you were in caveman society and somebody new came in, you'd immediately have to like, you know, everybody puts up their guard. Who is this person? Right. Because technically, if it was a woman, she could steal resources from you, a, i.e. man. And if it was a, a dude, he could steal resources from you, i.e. woman. And, you know, it could really fuck things up for a nuclear family. A oh, nuclear family. Or maybe like a less nuclear family, a, right. a, a cave nuclear family. It could really fuck things up. All I know is I was telling you about the three-year-old that pushed me into the sand, the sandbox. Mm-hmm. Like my earliest memories of getting bullied. And so I sort of probably to this fuck day. them up. Right? And then like I was smaller. I was like yeah. very <laughs> small. Right now, let's go fuck them up. No, but if I was in the same situation with a chick that looked like this, this girl who was like twice my size mm-hmm. and she walked into the room, I might get a little bit apprehensive just yeah. because. Oh, that's very true. Yeah. Just because it's kind of like ingrained in you. Yeah. Now. So when you see like her type of people, yeah. you're just like, mm, fuck you, yeah. bitch, douche. Mm. So back to uh, back back to dating, back to dating in LA. Yeah. In LA. About that. Um, because I mean, I'm sure we've we've all dated out here. Uh, quite a bit. Never. Yeah. I mean, I've been out here my whole life. Okay. So, so wait, are you from LA? Yeah. From, born I am raised? too. Born and raised. Wow. Yeah. Very rare, as everyone says. I know. So people say that too. They say to me all the time. Yep. Same. But you know what? The funny thing is, is that anybody I've ever met, like that's from Los Angeles, is a totally different breed of people than people that are from different states that come to LA. I think that a lot mm-hmm. of the LA bullshit and the douchebag and just the whole perception and persona of it i think a lot of it is brought from people who have a preconceived notion of what la is yes. and they come to la <clears throat> becoming that yes and that's what makes for such a large demographic of bam people. bam i love that and i've said that a thousand times over and that's kind of like the, the that was like that was the bomb that I was going to drop later. Thank you for it's igniting It's douche that plants. Sorry. No, no, no. It's great. No, it's it great. Sorry. Uh, no, but right. I mean, that's it. Because anybody I've ever met that actually kind of grew up in L.A., uh, they, they're very cool. They're very laid back. Like, and, and they're, you We're know. Like, yeah, yeah. High yeah. Five, it's, high like, high it's like, it's like, cool. We know. Um, no, yeah, no, we do. But then, you know. You, 90% of the people that live out here aren't from here. They they were the prettiest or the best looking in their town, which, okay. you know, Homecoming they, queen. they yes. were the, they were, you in know, they were the long. people that we stereotypically hate <laughs> Yeah, totally. <laughs> that, that people make fun of. And they're like, oh, it's that guy. And then they move out here to become actors or actresses. They realize mm-hmm. that they're not as good looking and they're not really talented. Uh, and, you know, and they, they end up like kind of giving up or working at a bar, hating life. And, you yeah. know, it's just this, like fucking place of crushed dreams and, and, maniacal egos right and And they conform into this little world into this little like bubble and that's i think really genuinely what becomes like la and all the bullshit of it and that's why i think it's so hard to date because i think that a lot of people put up a lot of walls to become this character that they think will be accepting to other people and other people like them more and it just kind of like works the opposite way it's so opposite yeah and everybody in la comes out here to work in entertainment they all come out here to be actors so it makes perfect right. sense that the people that you're going to find are good looking and also fake because I mean, right. and there are obviously a lot of things on acting like, you know, acting is can be a deep, submersive art form that's amazing and beautiful and stuff. 
Or it can be, you know, somebody's overcompensation, inability to deal with their own selves. And very surfacy, right. Yeah, and then they, you know, they got good at it. And now they're like, it's, you know, it's like one step up from a sociopath. Right. And Pretty much, yeah. Seriously. I, I've, I've actually experienced both of that. Like, I, yeah. I mean, I had an ex-girlfriend who literally said, she's like, I, I'm, I'm an actress because I don't like myself. And I was like, oh, that sucks. Yeah, but it's true, though, because they get to take on a different character, you know? Mm-hmm. And that is true. Like, 90% of L.A. No wonder I like playing myself like, yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah right. It's, it's like the opposite. Too. We actually just started doing some reality <laughs> stuff. And we actually started shooting a whole bunch of stuff. And I get to put on these characters. We're so far down the rabbit hole. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, my God. That, like, I, it's funny because I could never be these people. But I get to, like, pretend to be them. And it's so liberating. And, like, one is, you're, you know, you're. Typical Jersey douchebag. Yeah, I love that one. I saw yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I said that. Oh to my you. god, I love him. He's and you're amazing. S- he's sort of like finding laughing. aspects of himself through these characters that he right. would have never thought he related to. Which, totally. and I'm watching it, so it's very interesting. I love that though. I think it's, it's funny. Amazing. Until he can't break it, I'm surprised you actually are Jared today because I was expecting Brody. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're getting lost in it. We no, we got so Johnny deep Depp, down dedicated. into this, mm. and so like so fucking like I, and I'm, I'm <laughs> running around, and I'm like, hey, yo, you, you over there, what the fuck are you doing? You looking at me the wrong way? And like, how's your hair? We're going into How's bars and I can't shut off the I can't shut off the accent. No, and I'm like, line. I'm like, hey, hey, can I get a can I get a double crown on the rocks? Thank you, thank you. That's really that's very nice yeah. of you. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, and just I like I couldn't shut the I, for the like for for days I was talking like this. I couldn't shut the accent off. In fact, up until ten minutes before we walked in the building tonight. Oh yeah. No 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 no. It was <laughs> it, it stopped it stopped like this morning actually. Did it? Yeah. Have you ever tried to hit on a woman doing that accent? And yes, we did. <laughs> and how did it work? How did it work? He oh, just together? We, yeah, actually, on what? Fourth of July. Yeah, it worked. It worked. It worked more or less than uh, we didn't do there that. There was much. alcohol. Involved. Of uh, course, there has to be. But wait, did you do the accent too, just to give it like a good? Yeah, she was pretending to be my little sister. I, yeah, oh, I can't perfect. shut it off either. Like when he starts it, I'm right there with him. I fucking love right it. There. Yeah. I, I fucking love it. Do you guys drink fucking coffee? This is awesome. You got to be on the show now. Yeah. Oh, my God. Pretty much yes. it. I'm so, fucking here. She can be my best friend. Your yeah. sister's best oh friend. Oh, my God. That you're always trying to hit on. Like, because yeah. Because your friend's trying to hit on me. <laughs> be like, hey, yo. Hey, yo. How's your sister doing? Or how's your friend doing? <laughs> How's your friend doing? And then be like, Scotty, don't talk to my friends like that. Why the fuck not? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And see? then you guys end up like going off and I'm this like, is, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fucking fine. All Whatever. Right. But it's great to like kind of like be able to put that on. And it's funny because like I've, fun. I, I had no idea how naturally douche would come to me. And I was just yeah. like, immediately I was in there and it was like, I'm on douche douche mode, and the stuff that I'm <laughs> oh, yeah. saying Power is so mode. perfectly like, it's so surprising because to even it me. It comes from like within. It's just like all of a sudden all of my social etiquette's out the window and I'm right. literally a fucking atypical animal sitting right here in front of you digesting what I'm seeing, trying right. to say it in the most dominating, offensive way possible. Right. Oh, yes. It's that vulgar within you. But it's I'm the like, things that we keep deep down inside. It's funny that that as my general intention for my character – is like how somebody came in their own development. They're like, yeah, that's who I'm going to be. <laughs> and I'm over here like yeah, one of my forever, characters. Exactly. One of my characters is a cougar. So I'm almost like, wait, maybe I should not be playing this cougar so well. Because yeah. what is that saying about yeah. me in 10 years or five years? There you or, go. I don't know. When it's yeah. Very oh, I mean, and you're, you're invited. We've got to get some of this stuff all, all, all nailed out. I recognize talent hand. when I see it. So. <laughs> yeah, you do, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really love talent. I love it. <laughs> But yeah, there and, and it's it's funny because I, I started I've been coaching women a lot lately. Uh, okay, but, so you, both sexes. Yeah, and it, I like how he looks at me when he says it. I'm like, wait, are we talking yeah. about no. me? He's because like, I've been secretly coaching you, <laughs> just so you know, you can thank me later. I've no, been no, no, in but like, like when we were in the month. elevator with your boyfriend, and he was, and I, you were like, oh, you should read his book, and the kind of look he gave you. It's that kind of thing where it's like coaching guys is fucking. It's insanely difficult. Not because it's like hard to do. Like right. I can show you everything you need. It's just getting through some guy being like, yeah, I could probably use this. They're right. Like, no, that's not gonna happen. It's like one of those things they have to pick up on their own. You can leave yeah. the horse yeah. to the water, right? What's but the you can't, expression? But you can't make, can't make, make drink. him drink. No, unless you, you hold him by his hair and tell him it's flat, and then force the water down his throat. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I completely agree with that. For sure. So in general, like men come to their, their greatest revelations and like self edification um, when women leave them and they're like all that's very true. They're yes. broken up and then they that's go true. out. And so I end up catching a lot of guys who are conflicted about what they should do with her. And then they'll they're just they'll, I mean, coaching men is the hardest thing on planet Earth. It is, and especially because the- two men, it's just like butting heads. It's like for a man to be like have to admit to another man, like, I need your help with this. Like mm-hmm. when it regards like women and dating, 
it's like no no man yeah. no real man that thinks he's a real man wants to show his belly and that's no. kind of what it feels like Fuck and no. i've talked to so many guys that are like that they but don't see here's be the thing i did and i was i was very you know I, i've always been stubborn but you're special but i, I always watched other life. people and i was like wait what is that da, 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 what could i do differently how could i fix this like i'm always always growing you know, and then at the end of the day, people are like, oh, it must be nice to just be that fucking good with girls all the time. Like, must be nice to just be this perfect dude. Right. Like, I wish I was like that. And I'm like, what is this character? Because he might need to come into the. Well, yeah, we got to get the, we gotta get the name. Super angry at everything for guy. Sure. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, I, I th- that, that kept coming out. And I'm like, like, dude, that's why I wrote the book. I'm like, this is what I did. Everybody's like. Oh, no, no, no. You must be perfect. And I'm like, no, no, no. This is what I did. And then still now I have a book, coaching program, everything. And they're like. Oh, no, no, you must be this. And I'm like, how fucking stupid do you have to be to be you right now? It's all like much, much more simple, I think, than a lot of men think, too. You know, Mm -hmm. like I think they just think like dating or women or understanding women is so fucking hard. But really, it's just about like just be yourself. Just be like mellow. Be cool. Yeah. Say something original. Say something dumb and funny. That's not even funny, but it'll be fucking funny if you make it funny. You know what I mean? Just if you're really comfortable with yourself. I mean, that's that's where it all starts and stuff. But I mean, at the same time, like, you know, you can feel free to ask the girls that you're interacting with. Absolutely. That's like, how yo, I learned. Did I have a booger in my nose? Do I <clears throat> smell bad? Like, and what some is of these it? conversations might not be so comfortable to have, but no. I think the bottom line at the end of the day is you have to say it. If there's something that's going to bug you and hey. it's going to be a consistent problem, take a few shots and pet say peeve. it. Take Don't a few let it shots. build up. Yeah. Tequila and, you're and here's the thing: the women sugarcoat stuff, so you always have to learn how to negotiate an honest answer. Oh yeah, yes. bitches sugarcoat all the time. I'm not that bitch, but you will find a lot of bitches that sugarcoat mm-hmm. everything. Like, yeah, like. He's nice. Like, I like him. I like, you know, like, <laughs> he's cool. Like, that's for sure. He's cool. When really she's like, I would never fucking ever fuck that guy ever. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? If only the yeah. other side could see the BTS of what we were really thinking. Right. Well, not me. Because I, I only like to sugarcoat with sprinkles on my ice cream. So right. really, I'm pretty, All the time. pretty yeah. real with people. Yeah. There's Which I found is the be. best way to be. So I'm just blown I'm away by that impression of every girl I know in LA. Right? I know. <laughs> I really <laughs> have it down pat. I like, really Like, if you and I were just those people right now, we could probably pull it off for, like, the next 20 minutes. Like, I swear to fucking God. Oh, no. my God. Not again. Oh, mm. fuck. I need to, like, give me fucking nails done. Did you hear no fucking Tyrone the other day when he fucking said? <laughs> did I you just say Tyrone? I totally did. Tyrone. <laughs> she's in. Oh, she's uh, Yo, she's, she's talking in. about my ty- Tyronosaurus <laughs> Rex. His character's man piece. Yeah, that's the name that I, I named. So basically, <laughs> oh we came God, to this conclusion. It, it was between three different names for my penis. <laughs> one was Bingo, the other was God, and then the other one was Tyronosaurus Rex. Oh I, wonder, God, I yeah. wonder which one it or, was. Or, I'm sorry, Tyrone for short. So it's Tyronosaurus Rex because it's running through the jungle. It's like a vagina raptor. It's just. Oh ah, my ah, gosh. Ah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, vagina that's from that video. Raptor. Hmm, I like it. Who are we? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's something very wrong with all of us, though. All I know is in the past few months, the show has gone to a different place entirely. And it's... <laughs> you're welcome. It's much more natural <laughs> now. Yeah, you're welcome. But I'm like, I'm like, is this is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? I don't know. I don't know. It's a good thing. It's well, good you thing. know what? We just got to say, don't give a fuck, hopefully, and just hope for the best. Yeah, just, yeah. just, just like dating. Mm. Just got to hope for the best. See, dating worked out for me because I gave a fuck. You can't teach these guys not to give... Shh. I'm just joking. Don't listen no, to yeah, her. You have, hold on. You have to give a fuck, but in the right places. Let's ask mm-hmm. Jared about this saying? dating thing. You have to give a fuck us. about her, but not give a fuck about... It's, and it's not just give a fuck about what she thinks. You care about what she thinks. Care about what... Yeah. Give a fuck about but that. But too much. But don't, don't make it this life-altering thing. Like, it's not going to damage you, you if somebody doesn't like you. And I think that that's right. the that's biggest the thing. Because yeah, so many people rejection. get absorbed yeah. into the other person when they're trying to figure out what they aren't doing right to get the person. And the totally. other thing is they have a, a, a weird sense of self where it's like, if I say something about something that you're doing, you immediately equate that with who you are. So then it becomes a personal attack. And it's like, no, right. just fix that thing. I like you. I just don't like the yeah. way you're dressing, the way you're acting, the way you're fucking da 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 Yeah, it's something personal. Simple it's just, little yeah. modifications. Simple, yeah. yeah. Simple. That's the other thing, though, with L.A. Like, people take themselves way too seriously. And yes. that's the problem. Like, that doesn't make much space for, like, self-improvement or, like, yeah. becoming better is because, like, you have this block right there because it's like everything here is about rejection and like i just want everyone to like me and blah 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 and all that bullshit and then even worse if you're an actor because you're taking all these things like their choices you're making these choices and And their whole life's about it like auditions they don't want to be rejected like you know like it all it all works so dating becomes an audition each day you have yeah 
Basically. It's like... Um, so uh, don't fucking fail. No, that's I'm right. just joking. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, people that aren't, aren't socially inept anyways, most, I think most people got into acting because they're like, oh, I'm good looking. People said I should act. Then, I, you know, I, I did some theater in high school in, you know, Wisconsin, and then I moved out here. And, you know... In and, Wisconsin. And I don't think that they're, they're socially adept in any way, shape, or form. Like, they've no. never even dealt with society no. in, like, a real form. Right. So, and, and when you're confronted with anything, you start to close in, and you start to become very guarded, and you start to become very, like, you know, oh, well, you know, I, and, and then you start to think of yourself as so amazing because you're able to navigate these things. You're like, does anybody else think like this? Is right. anybody else, right. you know, understanding this the way that I am or making these decisions or these choices or da 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 at the same time, everybody has a need to make themselves feel cool <coughs> or seem cool yeah. or better to somebody else. So not only are they like impressed with themselves, but they're then they're trying to impress other people with it. And it's like you do realize that like if we could put a camera on you and like you could realize that you know separate you from you, it, well, you would be you'd be an actor already. They they had to put you on Jersey Shore a long time ago. Oh yeah, yes. you know Without as a doubt. complete al- uh, alpha douchebag in, in, in a nutshell. So how many yeah. actresses do you date? Uh, I've only ever dated one. She tried to throw herself in front of a car in front of me. Oh, uh, uh, they're was, always yeah. so dramatic. I trust me. I've dated a few actors in my day, and it's just a, f- it's a nightmare. Yeah. I swear. Like, first of all, I can't be with a man that takes more time in front of the mirror than I do. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. And then, second of all, a lot of them are just like they're so self-involved. Yes. Everything is just like meh. Yes. I just actors are just they've never been my my forte yeah so, and i mean the, no, there's, and there's, I, can, I can generalize that very much the same yeah i mm-hmm. hate to like if I there's really a hate to do that, haystack that, great true. right exactly. get at me bro but <laughs> come at me bro for the, for the most part <laughs> it doesn't work out no it just there is also a difference between being self self-development and being self-involved Absolutely. and like you know i'm always very internal what am i doing how am i affecting other Absolutely. people blah 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 you know, do I want to fix this? Do I want to change this? You know, I, I have a very, very good relationship with myself and I love myself and I'm very self, yeah. I'm a very centered in myself. I feel like you should um, pet yourself. As but you then I think that, that yeah, like, yourself. Just hold I yourself. think that other people are like totally fucking in love with the idea of themselves as well yes. on top of that. Right, right, right. You Absolutely. Know? And I'm like, I'm like, and it's funny because like the, the, the more in love they are, the dumber they are. And I'm like, Wait, how could you fucking possibly be this in love with yourself? Like, you haven't done anything, like, remarkable whatsoever. <laughs> right. Like, what's your biggest accomplish- accomplishment? Like, but for me, like... I, I woke up like this. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking woke up That's like this is what. So taxing. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Gosh. Yeah, but being, like, self-involved is, like, just being, like, really just obsessed with yourself, not thinking about anyone else. If you're on a date, you're, mm. like, really thinking about, like, all you, you, you. You're not thinking about her. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's self-involved. No bitch wants that shit. Does this diet water make me look fat? Yeah, (laughs) seriously. I'm sorry, babe. I'm not doing carbs tonight. This week is fucking leg week. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. like, shut up. Like, you know. (laughs) Nah. You've got a lot of experience with that, Sarah. (laughs) I sure do. Which veins are we talking about tonight? The, uh, yeah. uh, Thankfully, I've never dated anybody who was, like, super fitness. Oh, God, I have. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm just going to be real. It's a fucking headache, let me tell you, because he... I hate to say this, like, I'm sorry to you out there, but it's true because, like, <laughs> when, it, when a man is like, yo, boo, I'll be home after work, and it's, like, four hours, and homeboy's at the gym, but he's yeah. gen- he's really actually there. It's not like he's somewhere. He's really pumping iron with his bros, mm-hmm. sentence verbatim. Mm-hmm. That gets to be an issue, you know what I mean? Because it's just, like, no. Too much bro time. Dude, too much bro time. Yeah. And way too, like, obsessed with being pretty. And it's just, I don't know. I don't like that. I don't dig it. Yeah, I don't think a lot of girls do. I, I, I've talked Men to think a, that they do, though. Yeah. Men think that, oh, I got to be, like, really buff and, like, super steroided up. Like, no, dude. Like, yeah, we just, no. Think good. about how think about how much men mis, mislead or, or misguided in every other area. That, yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, chicks dig this. And they go out and you're like, dude, where did where the fuck did you get that? You look like a gigolo. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, or like in fashion and fitness and hygiene and anything like the second guys are like like Jersey Shore, you know, they get they'll slick their hair back and, they, you know, and then they'll fucking they'll over pluck their eyebrows way, way, way too much. Yeah. One for good luck. Yeah. And they'll put that hairspray <laughs> up there. One for good luck. Um, But it, it's just crazy because like, you know, men are I, I, I don't even know how the world gets to be how it is like everything else in the world that guys can get right. And it's like you can't get that one thing right. I don't know. I think it's like, you know, it goes back to being like preconceived notions on certain things, you know, guys, mm-hmm. I, whether it be like magazines or what they might have heard from like 
you know, TV shows like The Bachelor or whatever, whatever they watch, like yeah. something in their brain makes them think like, oh, I have to be like super beefed up. But they just went to Starbucks to again. Like where, where do these things come from? I have no idea. You know, you know what? It's a, I think it's an eight because I didn't even think about that. Like there were so many times where I've had girlfriends and I'm like, okay, look. So we're here now in the, in the circle of trust and honesty, and I'm telling you that I can get that big, and that I, I would like to personally, <laughs> right. if, if it was you know if it was my choice, I'm gonna start working out and I'm gonna do that. And she's like, no, don't. And I'm like, why? And they're like, because you you just don't understand. Like it's not good looking. And then finally, one of my exes came up and she showed me a chick of a bodybuilder, or I'm sorry, a picture of a chick bodybuilder, and okay. she goes. Look at this. And I said, Ugh. And she's like, exactly. Right. So at, do you want to fuck her? And I'm like, no. And she's like, we don't want to fuck them. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same it thing. Is. If you're too ripped, you're too shredded, it looks unnatural. And I'm like, I never got what unnatural meant until I saw like, you know, Captain whatever the, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, Miss Universe or whatever. Oh just, my God, rah. I bet they're crazy. I don't even understand that. But, you know, with men, it's like you, not like I'm saying like, oh yeah, just like be like super fat and don't give a fuck <laughs> about yourself. I'm not mm-hmm. saying that. You know, like it's great to work out and be, be healthy, but be healthy. Like yes. there's no need to like go overboard with it. Yes. Like, you know, those men that like they work out so much with the, like the weights that they have like yeah. these things here and then here and yes. it looks like there's like a little boy trapped in a robot body yes do you know what that I'm is saying? an amazing description i'm not of what playing it is. with you it, like it reminds me of like the oh, deltoids ate somebody and then <laughs> yeah. the, the triceps ate the delts Straight and then up. the delts ate the pet. and he's kind of like know. stuck in here kind of like doing some machinery to like yeah. make the whole body move like that's what it reminds me trying of. to figure out if he had a neck ever was there I a swear, neck i used to tell my ex like yo you gotta really chill the fuck out with that yeah. shit because yeah. you're like little boy robot body guy that's actually in the book I'm like if you do if you must work out whatever just don't work out your traps yeah those are those little robot muscles don't trap because it's gonna trap you yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna Major trap look. a trap queen well yeah. and I mean <laughs> trap queen it anyways. would be like this it, it is it's real simple it's like if that worked and I, I, don't, I don't I don't get how guys don't get this but it's like if if the way to a woman's heart was through your muscles every guy that went to the gym would suddenly get more chicks Right, and they don't though. Probably spend less time at the gym because then he'd have the chicks. So yeah, I'm telling you, soulmates. Yeah, there's definitely hashtag relationships. There's definitely goals. a little bit of both, and like going to the gym will enhance your confidence. You'll feel stronger, and then you'll go out yeah. there, and that'll shine through. Right. But like I've been out with guys, and they're like, what "The fuck is she doing with him, man? He's not even buff. He doesn't even lift." Right. And I'm like, "He doesn't even lift. Do you lift? Bro. Do you lift? Yeah. Because you spent all your day thinking about your body, looking at other dudes, and then going to the gym and trying to make your body look like those other dudes, while he spent yeah. his time developing a personality." Right. Right. And you know what? To be totally yeah. honest, like there's nothing more sexy to me than a man that's like comfortable in his body and that like rocks what he's got. Like and is really genuinely like good with it and just you know what I mean? Yes. I think that that's sexy. That that's confidence. Mm-hmm. And if you even have like little softness or whatever you have going on, if you just keep your life. I prefer healthy, that. Yeah, if the personality is there that's and they're so owning sexy. that little softness. Absolutely. I'm I'm pet that it. little Buddha belly. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to hold it tight. Exactly. I'm, I'm going to embrace I'm that. I'm going to talk to it and sing a song. Yes. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, do you want to <laughs> sing a song? You know what? I can choose. You know, I, I have a song. I have a song with me. Do you? Yeah, yeah I yeah. do. I don't know if we can figure out how to put this on here, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we can figure it out. My songs aren't really love songs, though. That's okay. Yeah, okay. just put it up to the mic then. Okay, I let's guess. do it. <laughs> oh God, my songs are very. Uh, I'm stoked. We should have got this loaded up beforehand. I just thought yeah. of it though. Way to go. You know, planning. Who does that? I mean, plan. <laughs> why? I don't even write questions down for the show anymore. <laughs> okay, so here we go. J- just hold it up to the mic. I guess. All right, let's try it. Yeah, we can hear it. Yep. There you go. Wasting all my precious time, time, my time, my time. I get to no play like I'm on the B side. Repeat and press rewind. Uh. Where's Barry B? Live, live, live. Digging my way out from the inside, side, side. Uh oh. Uh. Thought it was a super hoe. Hanging on your words, counting every syllable. Too bad the feeling wasn't mutual. I see you crawling back, but you're dirty on my cuticle. Yeah, break it down. We ain't got the same dialect. No respect, so a bitch had to come correct. You're supposed to be yeah, my medicine, that's, that's but all I ever got was side effects. Great. I recognize the talent when I hear it. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's really awesome. Thank you. 
Thank you. I, I, when we, you know, first started the show to be a dating show, obviously it's talk radio and like all of my friends and musicians. Yeah. So it's, it's, uh, there's like a little part of me that's like, I'm like, fuck you guys. Because I spent <laughs> so much of my time listening to my music friends talk about music at parties and wherever. And like, right. I'm always the out, odd one out that when I started a radio show, you know, for about the first year, some of my friends were kind of interested, but now that it's like, it's huge now, everybody's like, like, Hey dude, can I come on your show? And I'm like, no. They're like, no, yeah. no, no, please. And I'm like, no, oh, it's not a, it's not a show about, uh, or, or then they'll ask me like, well, what's the show about? And I'm like, not you know, about you. You know, I've been doing yeah. this for like a fucking year. Right. <laughs> and they're like, oh, well, you know, I, I think it'd be a good asset to the show. And I'm like, yeah, a well, good well, asset. Oh my God. What's my show about? Right. And I'm, so I'm like, you just want to come on cause you want uh, to talk about music. music right. Yeah. They want to come on. They want to like, fuck they you. This is my time. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck all you. So yeah. it's funny. Cause like you've gotten on here and like nobody, one of the friend, one of the friend actually put, he's did the speed, the theme, the theme, the, he did the theme <laughs> song for modern male radio and he's been on here a few times. He's great. Ron but Beam. yes, Ron Hi, Beam. Ron Beam. But you get Hi, to you, you get to be you know you're breaking the mold here. Oh, thank you. I feel very you're welcome. Special. And it's also a film, so it's like very hard, very hard to be like, oh hey, we we could do music video so during the middle we of the will. show. We absolutely we should, will. We have a green screen. We could put like fucking Paris behind us. Hey, they don't know that that's there. green. They don't know that that's green. Oh, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's not green. It's, it's so, so pretty colors. outside right now. Oh Isn't God. it so nice? Wow. This building <laughs> is just beautiful for the nighttime night sky. I yeah. have vision problems too. Yeah. I have a lot of problems, but it's cool. <clears throat> It's all that blue dye in the hair. Hey, you know, it gets to the <laughs> fucking brain. Eventually. You have a great look, though, too. For your look, I love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I like looking at your stuff, looking at your stuff. So yeah. what's next for Together. Blake? What's yeah. next for me? You know, I'm just, I'm recording an album. I do a lot of writing, and so I, you know, songwriting. Um, and other kinds of writing. But yeah, so that's like my life right now. I'm like consumed in it. Where nice. do you get your inspiration? Like when you're having your, your um, writing sessions? I think that most of my inspiration undoubtedly comes from my own experiences, obviously. But, you know, like breakups or certain situations like just you know i mean one of the that song in in uh, general was you know about somebody that cheated on me mm -hmm. and it was a situation where like i kind of like busted him and she somehow came to the house at the same time and then Ooh. like i called him out like so hard See, this is so good like you have all this drama but you can put it in somewhere productive right absolutely and just like being annoying one of those annoying chicks yeah. that la annoying chick. but that's like kind of like what i want to portray yeah. in my songs is that like yo shit fucking happens people do fucked up shit yep. but you need to find like resolution to rise above it and like come from a place of strength with it you know instead of be like let me just sing a love song about how much i'm fucking sad right now and i want to die <laughs> like you know <laughs> or take it out on someone you meet on tinder yeah and fucking don't do tinder. anything to deal with the pain we gotta get yeah. you to like make an acoustic cover song for like the bro show oh my yes. god it is so done awesome. absolutely music yes. video is happening stat like today yet yeah, like yesterday daddy where's my bro daddy where's my bro oh, yeah you do yeah <laughs> daddy where's my bro there i don't know go. there's so many <laughs> can't keep track oh we're having a lot of fun that with this might stuff have to we really are we, we gotta have a jam session yes. so any final conclusions with things that you would like to communicate to the world about la dating scene you know what i think it's you know take care of yourself work out when you're at a club and you see a hot chick, go get them, tiger. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> walk her. Yeah. You know what? Fake it till you make it is really the best advice. Fake it till, even if you feel like so not confident, just pretend like you are and do everything that you could possibly do to muster it up and just roll in there and do your thing. I love Damn how we, we cut, we, everything that we were saying before just kind of like what I, <laughs> like, well, there are this good is like things. literally the diametric yeah. opposite. You're like, no, just be fake. Go up there. Good things to fake. No, 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 no. Go it's get it. Fake something positively. Yeah, no, it's not. We're not talking about faking your physique. Yeah, no, and it's not like faking it like, oh, just like be someone else. But I'm saying like sometimes like we as people, like we don't have that confidence to like go up to like someone mm -hmm. random. And sometimes you have to just like talk yourself into it and be like, Dude, yes. it's cool. Who cares if she says no or like rejects you? No big deal. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta like talk yourself into it until you. In get a to nutshell, point you you've got to follow the modern male because uh, every everything in that book is a step by step, and what you're talking about right there is yeah. actually in the book. Uh, you know, uh, being able to kind of talk yourself into it, put on like a kind of a, a jacket, get out there. That experience is going to give you real confidence. And Absolutely. Even if you don't feel it at the time. And for the guys who feel like they're so confident that they don't need to listen to that show, you're the ones that are screwing it up for everybody else. Yeah, you and Sitting your there. hand are and best you, friends. And you, and you, <laughs> and yes, you. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, you definitely do all that, but also have the perception, uh, you know, understand where you're going, what women are, and then also have the perception of yourself so that you can kind of understand 
uh, what you're going to get hung up on. You know, you don't just want to walk up there and be like, I'm confident, funny, and this is going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Do you, no, you no, like no, the no, smell no, of my no, breath? Don't do that. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. You know, and yeah, they're just because like guys, guys are so simplistic. They're so singular in their focus. Black that and white. Very when a girl so. says you should go do this or be more confident, he's like, what is confidence? Okay. It's not being a bull in a China shop. Right. Exactly. It's but totally. scaling. Down how's he going to get that? So th again, all of, all of the actual answers to this are in my book. Yes. And I talk about how you can actually like uh, how you can assimilate confidence into something that you can understand and develop like that. Mm -hmm. And it, I basically equate it with a grip. So, you know, you wouldn't grip something so, so hard that, you know, your hand's shaking on it and you wouldn't grip it so loosely that it falls out of your hand. Right. You want to have a, a very firm grip on it. So that, that's kind of confidence is where you're, you're very firmly, you're stable, but I mean, you can let it go. You can pick it up. You can put it down. You can move it around. Yeah. And not to take it too personally. Cause like, listen, we're all going to get shut down sometimes. Like that's just mm -hmm. like fucking life. You just yep. gotta like get up and get on with it. And Learn from it. Absolutely. It's a learning curve. And honestly, like in the book, in his book, I, I've read a lot of it and to be Totally honest, I was telling him that, you know, a lot of it is very spot on. I mean, I it's very, very accurate, 100%. You Thank know? you. Which is, Ooh. you know, which is different because I've seen other books like similar to it or. He's dialed know. in. He knows, he knows what, what he's saying. talking about. It really is dialed in. So mad respect. Yep. What Fuck up now? Tyrone. We just Tyrone. Tyrone. Rex. <laughs> just fist bump. <laughs> She's got it. Fist bump. That's right. Okay, cool. Um, and Sarah, is there anything that else that you wanted to add? Uh, I, no, I'm just please here. stop mooing at her. Yeah, just it's don't fucking me. inappropriate. No, I'm, I'm happy please. to be here. I Yo, no more here. moo. Nobody gets to moo at my sister. Or I'll fucking kill him. <laughs> yeah, uh, that just happened. Are you yeah. looking at her right now? Avert your eyes. Look down. Look down at the ground. Okay, so yeah, no, I, well, we're gonna probably go home and film tonight. Probably. Um, <laughs> you can still stalk me at Sarah Beth Harris. On Instagram, and you can yeah. probably oh, stalk you at like multiple you. places. Can I? Thank you. Yeah, that's true. Where can people it. find you? What have you got to, coming up? What do we? How do we promote you? Um, I'm. Uh, my Instagram is at Blakey Elliot, and um, yeah, Facebook same. And come find me, and um, updates will be there. Right on. We'll be partying hard on Instagram like rock stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Lots of likes, lots of okay, followers. Okay, cool. So likes. Um, well, that's, <laughs> so <little time. laughs> that's it for night, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Modern Mail Radio. Bye. You're listening to Modern Mail Radio with Jared Zavistosky right here on LA Talk Radio.